Sorry, what's the one? Oh, they've got the again sacrifice trait. Interesting, I didn't know that. You have done what you must for the good of us all. They were a traitor. Quest complete. All done. Uh, all right. Okay, yeah, there's too many people around here. But I am curious about what happens when we go back to the gateway. Ah. Scene. It reseals? No, it's the other idol. The other, the unnamed one. Yeah, I didn't catch that. I seek the newly anointed god, successor of their victims, last of their kind. Confer with me. Fickle beast, do you not feel how the boundary betwixt this world and the next has begun to fray? You are artless in your duties, infant god. You bestow upon the bishop's death, yet deny them rest. Bearer of the red crown, set this right. Forced are they to relive their final agonies. Move them on as your duty as the new god of death. Crusade once more. Give peace to bishops trapped between life and death. Okay. Face of the unresting bishops. Collect a god tear from a mini boss. All right. Can't do that. Infant god, you think yourself worthy of my realm. All right. Okay. So we have to do the crusades once again. Oh, and you have to sacrifice a level four follower. Level 10 follower. Scary round head, too scary to eat. My tasty treaties will have to be twice as much gold. I do not like the round head. Uh, right. Okay. Read? What does this do? Here godly blood was spilled. Here did death no longer wish to wait. Hmm. Hmm. Right, well, before we go back in there, I am curious because... We have finished the game, as it were, the one who waits. But now I'm curious about the next level. What happens next? And it has to sacrifice followers for it as well. Hmm. Well, let's do a little bit of cleanup because we have to. Giant piles of shit everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. We can probably lock Faith in again with a mushroom ritual. Da, 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 da. Collect. Uh huh. Collect again. Oh! Huh! That's weird. The spider is taking the poo. What is that? It's a skull. Huh. Alright, that's a bit strange, but okay. And of course, you don't sleep, so... <sighs> right, so there's a couple of guys that are tired, but they're already asleep anyway. So... Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone on a missionary at the moment? No? You can send someone off. More coins, why not? Right, and we'll do some food as well, because, again, need to. Yeah, okay. I wasn't entirely sure what the ending of this game would be, but it seems like it's rolled pretty swiftly on into a post-game. So... Flock is ready for another sermon. Let's go ahead and do a sermon since it's a new day.
Do -do -do. Come on, come on. The fact that you have to sacrifice a level 10 follower is kind of what's... Um, it's kind of throwing me off about what to do about this. So, again, skip through. Uh, we'll do the next... What was this? Further the Righteous. An additional curse. And lost relics. Okay. Just more curses. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, I guess the thing that makes sense to do is do a run to a bishop and see what happens. Alright, you go and sleep, you go and rest, who else is sick? Taurus, are you sick? Okay, bed rest for you. Uh, Putreche, bed rest for you. Okay. Oh, two as well. Alright, Faith is a little low, but it'll be fine. Oh, Poppy, 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 Poppy. Oh, yes, Namerno, what do you want? We would love you to cook us some splendid vegetable feasts. Sure, I can do that if I have the stuff. Uh, do I? Not enough. I actually no. Yeah, not enough. So, yeah, never mind. All right, let's go, and we'll do a run to see Leshy. And just to speed things up a little bit, I'll put the accessibility options back on. Oh, nope, not that. Okay. And we'll see what, what comes up when we do this. Okay, there's no harrow here. Alright, so, yep. Yeah. All the tarot cards, blunderbuss. And Call of the Crown, a sacred projector that will possess directly hit enemies. Interesting, I don't think I've seen that one before. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So, it says it'll possess enemies, but I guess it does a base amount of damage as well, so it's one-shotting the, the low-level enemies. Okay, uh, let's go up, I guess. Does that possess you? No, you just kind of die. Alright. Oh, you've got a shield. Go. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not going towards a dead end. Oh, okay, good, good, good. All right. All right, so trying to avoid fights. So we'll go grapes, then vegetables, then grapes again. I guess it's actually technically berries, but uh, yeah, because I was kind of just kind of expecting to wrap up once we hit the one who waits. I was ex I was expecting honestly, I was expecting more of a like an end game credits thing of like this is the the secret behind the one who waits. I guess it's just this alternate idol. Um, I'm also 
curious what doing accept when having the the one who waits ask you if they'll if you want to be sacrificed for them. I wonder what that does. There's probably an achievement for it. Now that I think about it. But the question is, is how how would the devs have decided to let you redo the game without having to lose all the progress you've done so far? Because, again, it's technically an ending, so you could start from the beginning, but I imagine some people may not have been very happy about it if that was the way it worked. Okay. So this should transport me. Oh! It doesn't have a portal straight to the bishop. Okay. Huh. Alright. Am I going to go through all the witnesses again? If we have to go through all of the witnesses again before you can get to the bishops, then yeah, that's just... That's not going to be a thing that I do on stream, because that is going to take a lot longer than I thought it would. I mean, not long in the grand scheme of things, because obviously, again, having the unlimited HP and fervor means that you can just kind of blitz through it, but it does seem a little pointless to do it again. Uh, yeah, sure. So this relic, usually very good, but when you've got Unlimited further doesn't really matter. Alright, uh, I guess we'll go right. It's Midas. Oh ho ho! Hello there, valued client. My, my, such tatty clothing. It's been an age since I left home, but I was compelled. What a rich world. Sinister and vibrant and rich. And isn't charity the greatest virtue? Oh? You're robbing me. 55 coins. Well, thank you for that. Uh, okay. Divine Blight or Strike of the Crown. Shoot a fierce projectile that has a chance to possess enemies on hit. I'll do this one. This seems like a unique uh, curse. Alright, so is this a witness fight or a bishop fight? It's a Valafar 2. So it's not even a witness fight. It's just a second version of a fight we've already done. Different boss phase though. Or at least it seems like it. Yeah, the blunderbuss does more damage than the, the curse does. Especially right up close. God tier. Okay, we have the god tier. Uh, I guess I'll get more berries. More coins. Okay. Return. Oh, yeah. I have to do three more crusades before we even get to Leshy. Alright. Okay. Well, that clears up that question then. Okay, so yeah, the run itself only took five minutes, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to go through the fights that we've already done that are not unique, just to see whatever is actually the thing here, so. But uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll go back and we'll return to Unknown, give the god tier, and we'll see what that actually does. Okay, so... 
Mystic Shop. That's... Hmm, okay. Hello. I sense your success. I feel. I feel the presence of a god here. Strength, longevity, and a mourning that stretches eternally, found in the bellies of the foulest of beasts and villains, but seen only by those ascended to godhood. I am glad to have underestimated you, for I deal only with gods. An offer newly ascended. Give unto me a name, and we shall be fellows in enterprise. I have precious articles for a being such as you. Grant this being a name. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Huh. I don't know what to call, like, an ultimate villain. Uh. You know what? I'll be boring. I'll just call it Ultima. That fits. Ultima. And thus our contract is struck. Bring me the god tiers and I shall reward you in turn. Give a god tier. Okay. A commandment stone? You have found enough fragments to form a forgotten commandment stone. You can use forgotten commandment stones to declare doctrines that you previously did not choose. So, there we go. So, yes, we are in post-game. Our inaugural transaction. Some items may hold powers you cannot yet fathom. May they serve you well. Okay. Right. Well. Hmm. Let's go to the temple. Because, yeah, I kind of assumed that the game would have to let you get the rest of the doctrines. So let's go ahead and do that. Temple altar. Crown. Forgotten doctrine. Wake up everyone from their sleep. Alright. Sure, let's go for afterlife. So... Huh? Hang on. Did I pick either of these? Belief in afterlife trait, or conduct a funeral for a recently passed follower. I don't remember which one I did. I don't think I picked funeral. Funeral? Okay. Uh huh. Alright, so now if we check the book. Oh, well, I'll have to wait for the loyalty rewards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. Doctrine. Okay. Oh! Right. It was belief in afterlife was the first one, and funeral was the second. That's why it gave me a choice. Yeah, it's just giving you a choice to choose from... Whichever ones you haven't already done. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, that doesn't make sense as like the first one to do. So, but yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Um, right, well, fair enough. Hmm. Okay. Uh, sure, is it daytime? It must be daytime now, right? Through. We'll get another unlock of relics. Ta -da. There we go. There's only three. I guess it's just new ones in general. Alright. Faith is full! So yeah, this one wasn't there before. You can re recently pass follower and gain 20 faith. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well. Apologies for waking you all up in the night. Sorry about that. 
Uh, but yeah, I think that will probably do it for our streams of Court of the Lamb. Um, there is clearly a lot more to this in terms of building up the cult and also the post game itself with, well, who I have called Ultima. Uh, but yeah, I think the thing is, is that it's like with World of Horror. This is a game that is functionally infinite. You can just keep playing it forever and ever, uh, assuming that you know, you can beat all the bosses again. The other question is, is is there a, a boss fight against Ultima? There must be because of this thing, right? Like the idea of uh, don't act a fool. So, but yeah, I'm fine with not seeing that on stream. Yeah, very angry. So, yeah. So yeah, that will do it for today, I think. So, thanks for watching the stream, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can follow us on both Twitch at twitch.tv slash riggyrob, and you can subscribe to us over on YouTube at youtube.com slash at riggyrob. Uh, links to those are both in the chat now. You can also follow us on Discord and Twitter and TikTok and things like that, and I'll tell you of when we go live. Uh, we try to stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at around about 9 p.m. UK time. Uh, and yeah, so next time, well, if we have finished with the streams for Cult of the Lamb, then we will play something new. And uh, yeah, I suppose that will be a surprise for next time, which may be relatively soon. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.